Welcome to Weld.com. Got a question for you true fabricators out there. How many of you, when you're running flux core wire, you get ready to do multiple joint configurations and positions and directions of travel, do you go back and adjust your machine? Personally, when I'm running horizontal and flat, I crank it up pretty high, run hot. I turn it down if I'm getting ready to do an uphill run on something, be it in a groove or a fillet weld. And then how about thin material? This is 11 gauge. I did a mock-up run. I'm playing around with this wire over here. And uh, I ran it down pretty low. I think I could run it even lower yet, but this is 11 gauge material. It's right around an eighth of an inch. And I threw an 045 flux core fillet weld in it. Again, I'm thinking here, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm getting ready to, I've been looking at some drawings and I was thinking about just, you know, not changing settings and kind of fly through this stuff with some speed and quality, keep the right size, keep the spatter down and everything. So. I want to experiment with this wire and just run. I want to go down low on this 11 gauge, and then I want to I want to mock up this run where I do a horizontal fillet, this lap, come up into here, run part of this, not change settings, and just go from horizontal and go uphill and see what happens. See if we can keep the same acceptable size of weld. And rock on. We'll see what happens. Good experiment for me. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, I ran this first weld. I forgot to glance over at the machine and read the amperage, but I'm thinking it was down around 200. I don't think it was much higher than that, but I ran it at 20.5 volts, 300 inches a minute on wire feed speed. Uh, I am running off of a ESOB 285, and I'm running off the flux core setting on this machine. 045 wire on 11 gauge, that's the important part. I really kind of like the first part of this. It's a little smaller. Apparently I slowed down. My bead got progressively wider by a little bit. I have a couple of specks of spatter, not bad, but I really like the, the, the start of this bead. I like the profile of it. That ran pretty smooth and pretty quick. I think, and you know, again, this is the first time for me to run this. I'm kind of playing around with it and learning myself. So. So far, I'm seeing that it runs down on the low end. How far low, I don't know yet. Uh, I could mock up some more of these pieces. So now, I wanna go into some 5 16 plate and do a horizontal fillet, a couple of them actually. And then I want to do this T-joint, not change settings, but just take off and do the horizontal fillet part and then just go uphill with it and see what happens without changing settings. I do believe I want to run about, I want to run about 25 and a half volts and I want to run about 425, 430 inches a minute on the wire feed speed there. camera guy wants me to talk while I chip my slag. I kind of butchered this part of the lap weld over here. I don't like the toe of my weld. I do like my fillet. I'm really interested in what this fillet looks like because while I was standing over the top of this thing, it was like digging down in here. I need to get some light on this guy here. Pretty nice profile of fillet weld in there. Did the same thing over here at pretty much the same settings. 
Hey, here's a cool little product for you. Furred. They put out this bristled brush here. All the bristles are right down into a point. I think that's really a cool, smart idea. I'm going to get into the toe of my weld over here on the horizontal part that I did for the fillet. I'm a little peaked in here on my vertical up, but I didn't change settings. And I definitely think that I could do a little better by actually going up in a half of a volt. Leave the wire where it's at. 435, we're above 200 something amps, probably around 225 or so, 25.5, I think 26 might be the ticket. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got a mock-up run over here that I kind of set the machine with. I actually thought I could get, a, get away with it. I like this profile here, it's very acceptable. I may have bumped that wire feed speed up too high on this side. Again, uh, hey, we ran on some real thin stuff. 045, not 035, 045 flux core wire. We ran it down low, ran some thin stuff. Fairly small weld, we could probably go faster. I, again, I haven't played with the extreme limits here. I've just first time for me to run this. I think it's a very cool wire, very versatile. Be able to run small gauge material or 11 gauge, 3 16 same leave the same settings and and just go ahead and point go uphill not without changing voltages and all that stuff so i know there's some other cool demonstrations and some other things that i could figure out with this i want to run it in some groove work go uphill run some multiple stringers possibly run it overhead as well uh, i learned a little bit here i'm hoping you did too I want to thank you for watching weld.com check us out on facebook and instagram thank you Beard's looking a little straggly there. You sure you want me to uh, film you like this? Got one out of place? I got more than one out of place. Well, so do you. You're behind the camera. Oh, here's a nice product. Look at the bristles on this guy here, all lined up. Furred brush. They make fine products, you know what? Is this better?